over. I can't believe it, brother. October, baby. Oh, yeah, brother. I can't believe it's October already. What's up, guys? Joe Stingray back here again. Got another October review today. This is going to be the film Puncture from 2011. And uh, the stars uh, Chris Evans, Mark Kassan, Marshall Bell. And the main reason I watched this film is I uh, one of the podcasts I listened to had Leonard Malton on there and also had Chris Evans on there and they uh, Leonard Malton was talking about how much he enjoyed this film with Chris Evans. Of course, Chris Evans, uh, everybody knows from uh, plays Captain America in the new Captain America movie, also in Avengers. And they've got the new Captain America, I think, is filming now or may have already completed, but kind of a big deal right now. He is in Hollywood and such, so thought I'd check this one out. This is another one that's on Netflix streaming. I know I say that very often, but um, check it out if you're interested. Um, I and I enjoyed this film. I thought it may have been a little too long, but what this film is about, uh, Mark Weiss and Paul Danziger are their uh, partners in the law firm, and Mark Weiss is the main star of the film, Chris Evans, and he is a uh, pretty bad drug addict, addicted to uh, I don't know cocaine and heroin and stuff like that. Maybe more than one thing, I believe. Pretty heavy user, and. Uh, you know, balances it pretty well. A lot of people don't even really know how much of a user he is, but uh, one day a, a nurse comes to them and wants to get a case because she contracted AIDS from a, a puncture, a, a stick, a needle needle prick during you know her job as a nurse and contracted AIDS that way. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a really common occurrence. They give some stats in the movie, which I don't know if they're real stats, but it's like 800... I don't know. That can't be right. 800,000 needle pricks a year, something like that. Quite a few a year, and I uh, can kind of relate to this because my wife worked in the uh, medical field, and she got she's been stuck twice since I've known her. So uh, it's a pretty scary thing, you know. Usually, you can check people's charts and know if they have anything, uh, any uh, you know, uh, bloodborne illnesses or anything like that. Hopefully, uh, you know, just kind of keep your fingers crossed until all the tests come back, but. Um, it, it's a scary thing, and and what this film is, he he does some more research on this and learns about this this. Uh, he's an inventor who's invented a. Uh, it's a safety needle, so I think like when you use the needle, the the uh, syringe, the needle contracts back in there. Somehow, the needle is gone, so it can't be used again, and it it can't prick anyone because I, they say that uh, you know with with drug abusers that they use needles a lot they use plastic syringes you know over and over which is why you get so many uh, people contracting illnesses from that from dirty needles so you use it once and it's gone you know you can't use it again so but uh, a big drug company one of the main drug companies that you know supplies hospitals with syringes uh, Thompson is the name of the film uh, refuses to use these safety needles because I say they're too expensive. They're like five cents more than a regular syringe. So they won't use them, you know, regardless of the fact that it's safer for nurses and doctors to use. But uh, they refuse to use them because of cost. And, uh, you know, they, they go through the whole battle. And, of course, this, this drug company has a, a huge team of, you know, expensive lawyers. And here in the U.S., it seems like Whoever's got the most money usually wins a case because they can, you know, stall the thing in court for a certain period of time. And, you know, any time you're talking to a lawyer, you're on the clock. So whoever's got the most money usually wins in a case like this. But, um, you know, that, that, that whole battle plays out. But you just really learn how, how dirty, you know, and the, the lengths that these drug companies will go to, you know, in order to secure, you know, whatever they want to happen. And it, you know, follows the uh, the life of Mark, who, you know, uh, I think his drug use increases as he's dealing with this case, dealing with the stress from this case. So you get to follow his character and, you know, all the battles he's struggling with. And, uh, you know, really a pretty interesting film, not really a subject matter that I'm, you know, familiar with in a movie before. So, you know, unique in that way. But um, I wouldn't recommend, you know, going out and buying it or anything. You can check it out for a rental. 
and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.